he's always going to live in his father's shadow too. Like he's made it. Obviously he's LeBron James's son. He's made it from birth. Bronny new Nepo baby. Yeah. Okay. Listen, listen, listen. That's the goat's son you're talking about. Okay. And I'm not going to talk shit on him. Yes, the GOAT's son is arriving in Los Angeles. LeBron James and Bronny James are now teammates. Yes, that's right. He was literally a baby with him on his rookie year, and now he's a player with him nuts. Could have been you. Yes, if only I was If only I was LeBron's biological son, then yes, it could be me. Hate to see someone else living your dream. I know. I, I agree. But honestly, here's my, I mean, here's my cold take, I guess. But like, it kind of sucks. I saw... Uh, Doc Rivers' son, Austin Rivers, talking about this. And, like, Austin Rivers, he had, like, significantly, significantly better prospects than Bronny did. And his dad, you know, his dad was a coach and not, like, and not a player at that time. LeBron James, on the other hand, is a still active player. And Bronny did not put uh, Austin Rivers' numbers at all. Like, from what I understand... Like, he's just not very good. He's nowhere near as good. Uh, his height was a lie. He's too small. And he's just not that good. He's not that good of, a, like, a defensive player. He's not that... He's not, like, filling a role. Is a handcuff contract. You get Bronny, you get LeBron. Austin Rivers was overrated. I mean, look, I, I don't have... I'm not, like, the biggest basketball fan. And I, I admit I am a little biased because his brother Jeremiah is a good friend of mine. But as far as I understand, he was... He was literally, he is better than Bronny. He is better than Bronny. That's it. Can you even dribble? Don't speak on Legault's son like that. No, I, of course he has 12 years of experience. Of course he's better. If he wasn't, I'd be concerned. Wait, what? Don't get me started on Austin. Certified Rivers hater. So Austin gets it too. Sorry. Austin Rivers was in the league for 12 years in the league. Wait, I'm talking about when he was drafted. We're talking about at the time of him getting drafted, there were nepotism allegations towards him as well. But he his he was a much better prospect than LeBron James's son, Bronny. If Bronny ends up being a good player, it's an all time story. Dude literally had a heart attack last year and now gets to play with his dad, who is the GOAT basketball player. I agree. It is kind of wild how many superstars have actually come from former basketball players too, like Steph Curry. Like so many of the top NBA talent directly come from former players, like former NBA players. And you don't ever hear about that for the most part. Yeah, Kobe. Kobe is a, uh, the son. Yeah, Kobe's the son of an NBA player. So, like, obviously, I, I talk about the lack of nepotism or the closest that you can arrive at ne uh, meritocracy is the NBA and professional sports, and that is true. And I think, ultimately, yeah, they usually come from solid players, not superstars. I think that, that you're right about that. I think what ends up happening is you have a, you have a solid player, okay? You have a solid player. And their son becomes a superstar. But if you are a superstar, your son doesn't become a superstar, nor even a solid player. Michael Jordan's children. And I don't know if it like skips a generation or I don't know what it is. Like Bronny had literally the greatest uh, access to coaching, medicine, fitness, like since birth. He, if you ultimately could like cook this shit up in a lab, you got the goat and then you got the goat's son. The expectation is that he's going to be a goat too. And yet his father is, you know, six foot nine, six foot eight. And his son turned out to be six foot one. Unless he goes through like a second growth spurt, like this shit is locked in kind of. He's in this like weird size. I don't know. Leg lengthening surgery. It doesn't matter. We need more research. The mother matters, dog. I know. Wait, who was the NBA player who like is, is, is dating and married to a WNBA player? That now see that's some that's some Chinese style laboratory shit. You know what I mean? They're trying to make a they're trying to make the next Yao Ming come out of America this time. <laughs> Basketball as a sport is crippled by the fact that you need to be a mutant that's seven feet tall to even be considered a professional. Another reason why hockey is the goat. That is precisely the reason why basketball is incredible. Dude, come on. Y'all going down a dangerous rush limbaugh path? Be careful. Wait, what? No, it is access. You're absolutely right. But like Bronny literally had the access. He had everything. It's the accent. Oh, just a joke. The genetics combo. Yeah. Like he, he had everything. He has the goats genes, which I wish I had every day of my life. Okay. And on top of that, he had like the, the absolute best coaching, like access, the absolute best coaching, everything. It's just interesting to think.
He has only half of the ghost jeans. Okay, bro. What are we talking about? That's like, <laughs> that's the best it's going to get. You can't have more than half, bro. <laughs> Unless you know some shit I don't. <laughs> LeBron James, like a once in a generation player. Anyway, listen, my point is this. Okay. I think that he has, he's always going to live in his father's shadow too. Like he's made it. Obviously he's LeBron James's son. He's made it from birth. But like, I do think that he will always, he will always live in his father's shadow and his father's shadow is, is, you know, the unimaginably large. It's sad because the younger son has better prospects. Yeah, dude, I'm sorry. I know that that's like a big meme. Like you look at, you look at like high school prospects, but shit changes. Okay. Like, I think that's cope. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I, I'm just, I'm, I know, I, I don't think he's a meme. I don't think it's a meme. I know, but like in general, I think it's, it's a little bit like people really want that to happen. They want at least one of LeBron's children to be like LeBron. And I get that more than anyone else because I love LeBron. Okay. I understand it. And I know he's good. I know I, I have, I'm just simply saying that you just, you got to wait, you got to wait and see. You're not riding hard enough. I know the one time I'm like, the one time I'm like scaling the dick riding bag. Everyone's up my ass, dude. How is this happening? I don't want to talk about the UK so much that we literally had a sidestep combo about LeBron James and Bronny getting drafted. Why are you dissing LeBron? I'm not dissing LeBron. I would never Look at my him. man's hairline, bro. What is happening? Yo, God punished him with this. God was like, you can't have everything, LeBron. We have to consistently make you ball. It's really funny that he fights against it so much. Because he literally fights against it. It's like, bro, just go bald. Everybody knows you're the baldest man in the NBA. I mean, it's true. That's like, that. I, I listen, That, that it's just true. That's crazy. <laughs> It's just true. <laughs> that was hurtful. Dude, it doesn't matter. <coughs> he literally has everything else. He has everything else. He can't have it all. That's it. You can't have the hairline too on top of everything else. You said you wanted his jeans so you would take him meaning you'd be bald? Yes. What? That's not even a question. F the hairline. If I could be like LeBron James, what would... <laughs> I'm sorry. What is this question? What? You mean be a generational once in a lifetime athlete? Like, yeah, dude. <laughs> Probably lose more than just my hairline for that. That's crazy. Who would who wouldn't take that? <laughs> That's insane. It's like, dude, to be able to have the grace of a ballerina at six foot eight, two hundred and fifty pounds, six foot nine, that is insane to me. Like that is that is actually, you know, chop a couple inches off my at that point and i'd still take it okay are you kidding me you're blowing bubbles on it dude what are what are we even talking about what are we even talking about you're crazy <laughs> you'd have to grow up black in america though fair still yes again easy not even a question 100 percent. he's 42 yeah that's what i mean damn son you got interest to spare like that yes LeBron is kind of overrated. Okay, dude, shut up. Uh, Chad is being crazy. Listen, listen, listen. I think Chad got too comfortable because I made because I made accurate statements about LeBron James's obvious hairline or rather lack thereof. And Chad thought this was a LeBron hater zone. This is not the white surprise. This is not the clan rally. Okay, everybody calm down. Dial it the f back a little bit. A lot of you coming across right now like white supremacists. I'll say it. I'll say it. Ain't no one ever woke up and said, yeah, I would love to be Curry for the day. Thank you. I agree with that as well. I would not take LeBron's hairline if I could substitute bodies with Steph Curry. Actually, that's pretty cool too. I'm going to be honest. Like, yeah, I would like to be. I mean, it's definitely LeBron number one though. <laughs> Come on, man. He's got a insane, insane three-pointer. I mean, it's just, he's an insane. Uh, dude, in order to, be, if I could shoot like that, Jesus Christ, God. LeBron or Kyrie? It's LeBron. That's not a question. LeBron or Giannis? LeBron. Yo, I'm not going to lie. LeBron or Jordan? LeBron. Easy. Listen, listen. This is not a question. LeBron. Every time. Okay? LeBron or foreskin? Pick one. LeBron. Bro, I said I'd shave a couple inches off my dick, not just a foreskin. Okay? LeBron or Wemby? LeBron. It's too tall. Way too tall. What are we talking about? That shit is like annoying. Too much. <sighs> okay, we're... You guys are just asking, dude, the the quickest way to make me derail the conversation entirely dead in his tracks is to ask me LeBron related questions. All right, we need to we need to get back to television studio. There's no audience.